hey y'all so welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for clicking on this video and today i'm gonna bring you guys a what's in my hospital bag video or like a hospital bag video <clears throat> so i went to my uh updated appointment today um i'm still 37 37 weeks i'll be 38 weeks on thursday but i did go to my appointment today and it is kind of looking like they're thinking about inducing me so sometime this week um we haven't really confirmed necessarily but that's what it's looking like so i figured like i already have my backpack but i figured i'll show y'all what i have so anyway i'm gonna jump straight into the video <clears throat> and let's get started first of all i never packed the hospital bag i did look up a list of things that would be essential but i honestly just packed um just things that i felt like i would need so first of all this is the bag that i'm using it is my <laughs> mommy bag. Oh, I'm trying to show y'all. This is so cute. Somebody gifted that to me with my last, my last little one. <clears throat> I didn't get to use it. I never ever, I don't think I ever packed a hospital bag or was able to use a hospital bag in my previous birth. So I definitely made sure that I have one this time around. So yeah. So let's get started. I'm gonna just jump into it, y'all. I don't want to be too long. My mommy bag. It came with came with these little bags right here. So one of them says "Mommy's Treasure." The other one says "Baby Necessities." Obviously, all of my stuff is gonna go in here. I was already using this bag, so I already had like mainly just like my makeup stuff in here. I know nobody is thinking about makeup in labor. Um, I feel like the only time someone would have makeup or would wear makeup is if they have a photographer coming to do the pictures after you give birth, but I don't know, but I already, I was already using this and I was storing all my makeup, um, in here. So I'm pretty much just going to keep all of the stuff that I have in here already in my mommy bag. Briefly go through it real quick. I have a little bit of my makeup, like my foundation, concealer. Again, I don't know if I'll need it. I don't know <laughs> and I also have this but I probably will do like a little um a little shoot in uh postpartum like one more we're in postpartum I don't know um so anyway also y'all excuse my voice um I think I mentioned to you guys before that we are getting over sickness so I am in the process of getting it all out <clears throat> lifestyle wipes Someone just recommended bringing these so you can clean surfaces and clean toilets just in case they don't do a good job cleaning. So I, yeah, I went and picked up this little pack of Lysol wipes and just going to try to keep the germs minimal. So the next thing I have for me is, this is actually a skin moisturizer. I don't do much to my skin. Uh, I just wash it, like I cleanse it get the dirt out of it and then I just add this moisturizer and I spray my Mario Badescu all over and that's it so I'm just gonna bring this because I don't want to be crusty these are some other hydrating face creams that I have um I don't I remember like y'all remember me saying that my skin has been really really dry it's been so helpful with me doing the moisturizing routine every night but I have these two just to make sure that I'm not like just falling apart in here y'all so pat my Listerine you gotta keep up with y'all um your oil hygiene so got some listerine and obviously like things like toothpaste floss stuff like that um i also bring i got this for christmas my mom bought it for me for christmas so i wanted to take it so this does come with a body wash um you got i know y'all know what this is everybody has them i'm almost done with this one too so i have this little kit um, and it has a body wash, it has a lotion, and it has a perfume. And I, I am going to bring this just in case. But then again, you know, I thought about the baby, how sensitive the baby will be to maybe smell. So I want to be cautious of that. I'm going to bring this anyway um, for like when I shower and just want to refresh. But I am going to try to keep everything unscented and less perfume. I didn't get a chance to pack this yet, but I'm going to show you what I may put in it. I'm not going to do too much for baby because baby just going to be in one simple thing until we come home i like to keep it real simple this silicone breast pump haka i'm gonna bring this and this is just a way to 
catch any milk or any um colostrum that will fall as i nurse and feed baby i feel like this is essential um especially if you are if my milk starts to come in quick and i'll be uh using this throughout my nursing journey because for sure like this I hate to waste milk like I hate when I'm feeding it and I feel on the other side that the milk is like just running I don't like that no we need to save all the liquid gold as much as possible so that's coming with me okay even if there's no milk um plain white baby socks um nothing too much they give you a lot of this stuff in the hospital but I still want to bring out own so I guess I'll put this in baby necessities this will be the first item that I put in here <laughs> along with the pump but that's for me so somebody else bought this for me and i'm gonna actually gonna open it with y'all hold on um and it's so cute because it comes with like a the little headband that you can wear on your head to pull your hair back you know what i'm saying to get your hair out your face to wash your face so this is adorable i thought this was so cute and it comes with another one i think it's three in here oh no and it has little cuffs so i'm i'm thinking this is for like a face routine, like you know when you get up into your face and wash your face, you don't want to get any hair, or you don't want the water to run down to your um, clothes. That's what that's for. This is cute. I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna get up and wash my face just because. And then it also comes with these little cotton beauty blenders, and I love these. Um, I'm just getting into these, and I love them because they. They actually lay down product pretty good, so I'm gonna bring some of these. I, I do use some of them too to help, you know, pick up oil, cause I get, I don't know y'all, my skin is strange. I get oily and dry, it's so weird. But yeah, I'm gonna bring one of those, one or two. And, oh, there's mini ones. Y'all look, there's some mini ones. I just wanna bring these just because. I just wanna bring them just because. This is this is too cute. Uh, <laughs> um, and then of course there's like beauty blenders inside. Beauty blenders. Um, I don't really know what these are. I don't know what these are, but they're in there. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna take um one of these, one of these, and I'm gonna take my two little cups that go on my hand. And my little hairband. And I feel like I'm having like a braxton hit. Hold on, y'all. I just want to have everything organized so that I'm able to just get, grab, and go. I did not pack a lot of stuff. I just have my little pajama dress that says Mama Bear. <laughs> Let me see. Mama Bear. It's really, this is, I love this one because it's really wide and comfortable is not form fitting so it'll give me all the comfortability i need when it comes to postpartum and recovery because it's not something that's tight and my sister actually bought me this dress um it's actually a, a nursing dress so i'm gonna try to just show y'all the top part it looks like this but you can actually lift it where is it you can actually lift it up and pull out your and nurse if you have to nurse the baby so this is a very convenient dress so I'm just gonna bring this probably just wear this when it's time to go um, my milk doesn't normally come in until after we leave unless we do the plan induction I'm just going to um, come with whatever I have on that night or morning when baby decides to come and then for outfits that I pack um, I'm just gonna have these two dresses. I don't want any pants or nothing like that because I may pack some pants, maybe some leggings, I don't know. I also have some nursing bras. I feel like this is very essential as well. Um, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the times I was in the hospital, I never um, had any of this. I just had on a nightgown, the hospital nightgown that they give you and I just went with the, go with the flow. But someone bought me some nursing bras, so I'm just going to pack them up and take them so that, you know, they, they're convenient when it comes to nursing. This is just one of the soaps that I was telling y'all about that's probably more natural and better to use um, with baby. So I'll probably use this. Um, I'm not going to take the baby a bath when the baby's born um, right away, so they're not going to need that. 
um but yeah this is one of the more natural soaps that i probably end up using i do have some socks i do like the hospital socks because they have the little uh what is it called the little things on the bottom it's like slip resistant but um you know i'm just gonna bring some socks just in case um I need some extra or if I have my sisters so I'm just gonna pack a pack of these and take these with me uh, probably gonna switch to something more natural but yeah this is just something that was quick and on the go that I can throw my bag right there and call it a day you need your charger this charger goes up to like 12 feet so I'm gonna bring this of course I'm gonna bring my camera camera uh, charger it's always a screen uh, underwear for mom these babies I know the hospital gives us like um, underwears and um, and things like that, but I've heard a lot of people say that these are good to use um, during po postpartum. Um, they're just easy to manage. So I'm gonna take a few of these. Um, hopefully, we don't have too much going on, but I'm just gonna pack a few of these in my hospital bag so that I'm able to have these to uh, wear and hopefully it makes it easier I've heard people say good things about it they're super comfortable they're big so they stretch and they support they're supposed to keep everything comfortable and yeah so I'm gonna pack some of these not much because I know the hospital will give us these things like I said I don't have everything for baby just yet because I feel like the hospital does a really good job at least my hospital does a really good job with having um everything that we'll need for baby i feel like if you want to bring things that's personal um then definitely do that but baby cream and things like that um, definitely definitely i feel like that's it i don't want to bring, bring too much because i feel like like i said i feel like our hospital does a good job with supplying us with like diapers um wipes things like that and the countdown begins i am getting super excited and but also super nervous but that's okay um we are gonna trust in the lord so that's pretty much it y'all that is all i have in my hospital bag my hospital bag this is my fourth round okay not that i don't care but at this point i just want baby out but i do in case i have to stay longer um, one of my uh, births I think I had to stay three days and it was a long three days this time I just want to be comfortable um, and just be more aware and more conscious of what's going on so yeah take this one little simple bomb bag here and I'll put baby and I stuff inside of here um, like I said I don't want to take too much things I don't want to go out there with too many things my husband has a bag I have a bag and then we'll have this this big bag for everything baby don't really need too much so yeah um, probably end up filling this thing with more stuff but i just wanted to show you guys like the basic i felt for me the basic essential things that i'll need this uh purse also comes with a little strap so if we wanted to make it like a little longer duffel bag we could just strap it on there and carry it longer or we could just hold it like this i love this this is what I use for travel. This is what I use just for all my stuff. February 8th, I'll be 38 weeks. Um, but at today's appointment, my doctor did talk about possibilities of being induced. So that's so why I'm like, okay, things are definitely really getting real. I, um, yeah. Uh, I went and got a new medicine ball so that I could start bouncing on it. I'm, I'm just going to try to try to get the baby to try to come um without having to medically intervene we'll see what happens um you know the concerns with um hypertension and all that we just want to be safe and careful but we are just going to take it one day at a time and we're not going to worry i'm not going to worry we're going to trust the lord whatever outcome but we're we're definitely praying i'm praying for her fast delivery y'all Thank y'all so much for clicking on this video. Right now, there is no update other than what I just shared um, with us just preparing. Um, I'm excited and nervous. It's like a weird feeling. It's like you are, I'm excited for the baby to be here, but I just don't want to have to go through the process of getting the baby here. So, but once the, once it is all over, I know it'll, 
it'll be out the window. That is a grace from the Lord that that is not something that we remember after we deliver. Um, I mean, we remember, but um, you know what I mean? It's not something that just keeps us away. I'm thankful for every gift and every baby that the Lord has given me. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go y'all. I have a lot to do. I gotta clean and I'm getting hot. I'm tired too. So I also, I did my hair. I think I'll show y'all like different ways to style, but I did my hair. It came a little longer than I expected and I was going to cut it, but I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just try to enjoy it now before I cut it. But I am going to add in some more pieces so that I can get a little boho lock effect. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go for real for real. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other ideas or things that you feel like I need to pack in my hospital bag, let me know. I love y'all, friends and family. Peace.